We're live. And we're late. <laughs> Two minutes too late. Here they come. Hi, Beth. Hello, everyone. <laughs> you should see the looks I'm getting. Oh, that one hurt. Well, welcome, Joanne. Hello, Dana from Missouri. We were in Missouri a couple of weeks ago, passing through. Yes, passing through. That was creepy. Alan's creepy anyways. <laughs> Aren't you, Al? I'm not saying a word, because you're grumpy. I am grumpy tonight. I'm tired. That's why I'm grumpy. Cheer her up, guys. I don't think anybody could cheer me up today. I'm always grumpy when I have to do your laundry. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hello, everybody. I see all these familiar faces, and I see a lot of new faces. Hello. Welcome, if you're new. Jeannie from Australia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. New grumpy MCAT. Shirley, what's an MCAT? Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Lorena. Gloria. Angela. She just said cat. Oh, cat. <laughs> I thought there was something there that I didn't know about. Hello, Mary Sue from Tulsa. Shall we get started? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to make it through tonight. So we have three paintings up here, but those of you that were here last week, we did four. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start with the the first one. We'll we'll start with the masterpiece. It is really, really dark. Yes, and if um, Paige is here, I want to show you how very, very dark this is. And he did get a little bit of cracking, which resin would cover that up anyway. This was the one that I called Conception. Somebody else saw an angel in it, which I guess would be this way. I don't know where you get Conception from that, because if that's what it's like... <laughs> If you can't conceive of that. Oh, there you go. That's different. <laughs> Too much glare. Sorry. It's actually darker in person. It's very dark. I still like it. Brian said it's a volcano. Hey, Deborah. So let's see, that was what, 6 1? Yeah. Last Monday. Yeah. Then we had this one. What would you like to say about this one? It was my attempt at a waterfall, but I got too many cells. It's 
still pretty though. Got a lot of shimmer to it. I got a lot of shimmer to me too. Mm -hmm. And then there was the challenge. And both of these are possibly sold, so. This one was a flip and drag that I did. I like how that came out. The light is really glaring off the black tonight. We should have put a pad down. And then there's Christina's. So I don't know who won, to be honest, but I'll give it to you. I don't want you giving me anything I didn't earn. <laughs> well, come here, pop off a little bit more. <laughs> See, I told you guys, she's grumpy tonight. I'm just tired, that's all. I should have made a cup of coffee instead of a tea. I like being grumpy. It keeps you on your toes. I don't like it when you're grumpy. You get mean. I don't get mean. <laughs> It's okay, Al, because if I got a little rough with you, you only have 52 witnesses. <laughs> oh, 55, sorry. Yeah, just don't don't buy the, or use that toy that I bought you. You bought me a toy? Oh. See, Carrie was grumpy all day. It must be because it's just Monday. Carrie who? Carrie. Not the Carrie. Yeah, the Carrie. Brian says there's a fine line between grumpy and mean. <laughs> yeah, about... Hi, Sue. Needle thin. <laughs> So, tonight, tonight's the night. Everything's gonna be all right. I'm chair boogieing. <laughs> Just checking the canvas. Two. Oh, I guess not. Yeah, it is. No. If you can't see that lip right there. Right here. Look. Brian, she's calling me out. <laughs> All right. There's a lip on this one too. How's this sound? You can use all yep. those you want because we have like sounds, three cases of those. It sounds kind of well, loose. It. Spray it. So, for those of you who are wondering what I'm doing, this is a level one canvas, 11 by 14. It is a little loose. Now, what I did is I sprayed the back with a little water. That will tighten it up as it dries out and you'll get more of a drum sound. Just a tip from the amateur. 
Hi, Tammy. Hi, Angela. <clears throat> the amateur. The amateur. Is it amateur hour? It's amateur hour. <laughs> That's about how long it takes me to paint, right? Oh. Welcome, Kathy. Please forgive me, guys. I'm just feeling a little goofy tonight. I'm not, so. I know. <laughs> You can just take that where you got it from. What? My grump? Your grump. <clears throat> so what's a Monday night? Sounds good, Susan. With a lot of, without a little gadget. The looks I'm getting. I think. Did you mix up a little white? <coughs> white base? No. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put a little duck base. Or you could just do a painting that you don't need a base for. I could do that. That um that white over there in that jug right there? Yes. That might that be white? good enough. Yeah, because we took that one to Maria's. I think we added water to that one. Give me the cup that's on top of it. It's no good. That white, well, I'll, I'll let you use that white. What? That white. All right, whatever. Let's get the show on the road. I'm working on it. You know, I can't rush perfection. I could ask you from Saturday on, what are you painting Monday night? And you still don't know. You can't rush perfection. Okay. Well, we finally got the Monte Carlo out of the driveway, guys. Thank God. Alan has a new parking place now. <laughs> have so, room for another vehicle. We um, sold it to a really nice guy from Greensboro. And uh, he came and got it yesterday. So I was like, yay. Yeah, I got tired of looking at it, Shell. She was my baby when I first started working at the bank. So I had her a long time. Baby, I get a feeling it was a 2000 Monte Carlo, right? She's sweet, nice ride. She was old, she was old. It's getting like slim pickings on the excess paints now, isn't it? We got a ton of reds and pinks. <laughs> yeah, and greens. That's why I'm going to use a little green. Kmar is a spray-on varnish. You can get it in matte, or you can get it in gloss. Well, Brian, I had about 180,000 miles on it. I think like 182. She was good. She's a good girl. Okay, I'm not going to go with a base. I'm going to do an angled pour. With a juicer. Love my gadgets. So are you going to put a base coat down first? Nope. Okay. Because remember, when you stretch, you're going to fold over. You can, okay. let, the, I can, you can let the canvas a little bit. Just pour a little on there and rub it in with your hand just to wet the canvas. And you still Good got, luck, Mary. <laughs> you still got some time to think what you're going to do. No pressure, no pressure.
Color choices. I don't know if I'm going to regret this or not, but Master Touch Neon Green. Hey, Nate. Hello, Nate. Uh, yes, you can, Wandana. Creative Inspiration Lemon Yellow. A color that doesn't get used very often. Because I don't think we've found quite the match for it. Military Green Shimmer. The Master Touch Neon Yellow. And one I'm hoping that we might be able to use up. Soho Cad Yellow Green. I tried to use that up the other day when I was filming. So we're all kind of miscombobulated because we're waiting on furniture and rugs and... I have a king size bed and mattress in the uh in the foyer. In the foyer. The entranceway to the house. We have what twenty some gallons of or no, I take it back. Eleven gallons of paint, correct? Eleven gallons of paint. Sitting, not sitting in the kitchen. <laughs> We've got a lot of work to do. Alan needs to take another vacation. <laughs> Gonna spray my gadget with the silicone spray. We have the living room, a bedroom, um, in both hallways to paint in our bathroom. I'm in no hurry to paint our bathroom, though, so I don't have anything new going in there that I have to hurry up and get it done. So we, we got spoiled when we were at Maria's because we slept on a king bed. And we were both in our own little area time zone. <laughs> so we both slept like babies. Okay, going to start off with the Master Touch Neon Green. Hi, Violetta. Followed by the Creative Inspiration Lemon Yellow. I don't have any problem painting the walls. I just need him to do the ceilings first because I can't look up that long and not get dizzy. Military green. Well, that's not good, Donna. There's an active hostage situation at the price chopper one block from her. Master touch neon yellow. That is bright, too. Just remember the yellow will take over. So try to use a little more heavy green. Soho Kid Yellow Green. So what, Nate? You want me to wait till November? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> that military green's not very pretty, is it? I think it's going to... I think if you would have put a little uh, caramel in there, it would have been okay next to it, but it's too late now. I had that in my hand. Keep going. I'm not repainting it in November, Nate. <laughs> what, what are we painting again? She'll have another different color by then. No, I won't. The gray will last about... I'll probably hate the gray, right? Six months, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. That yellow is taking over. Uh, Can you put a little darker green in there? A darker what? A little darker green, or no? Darker green? Like a little permanent? Mm. Terra Vert? Yeah, just tiny squirts of that here and there just to break it up a little bit. Because I mean, it's really pretty right now, 
but I just think you're going to need a little more contrast. So I'm going to try adding a Soho tear of dirt. I'm going to put up with that tonight. Let's just see. Okay. We're gonna go one more round with the colors. He's got a juicer, Bri. Nate said he's counting on it, but I'll change my mind with the colors. She's Are only changed the colors, what, about four times, five I'm times? I'm not a fan of blue. That's why. I, I like teal. But, you know, the kitchen's dark sage, so we really can't go with the teal. Throw everything off. So, I let you have your blue. Because you didn't pick the rug I wanted either, so... <laughs> Nate said, add sand. Do we have any sand? I don't think we do. I think no. we used it all. Where's the litter box? Oh, no, it's right there on the bottom shelf. Oh, that sand. Brian's like, you need a lot more paint. Of course he does, right? <laughs> Brian. He's so silly. Hi, Mary Ellen. Let's go one more round. I'm going to do a little something different. This is why she told me to choose a level one canvas. <laughs> How many ounces of paint do I need, Brian? Seven. Just type, don't be afraid of colors. 43. <laughs> 43 ounces? Nate saying more sand. Did you change the order? Because it was I pretty did. it was prettier in the beginning. <laughs> I like that when it first came out there, that right there between that and the second. Maria's going to call it the algae bloom. Uh, does that have silica? Nope. Okay. I listen to you once in a while. Susan said it's like baby food that was spit up. <laughs> At least nobody said. Um, Furball. Brian said 9.625 ounces. 9.625. Uh oh. I think I just went over. What, in ounces? No, you yep. didn't. No, you didn't. You're fine. Look what I can do. You could spread that white out with a offset spatula. Might help it tilt faster. I could. You could. 
but then I'd have to clean it. Um, Daniel, we start with uh, five ounces for every square foot, and then you add um, half an ounce for the sides if it's just a standard um, thickness. If it's bigger, then you add up to an ounce. So anywhere like a 12 by 12, you can do five to nine ounces of paint and still be okay. Anything over nine, you're going to have too much paint. Sometimes you'll get a great design and you've just got too much paint on the canvas and you have to keep tilting it off and you end up losing your design. Happens uh, me I would always. rather have extra paint than not have enough. That's Brian's philosophy in life too. Right? What's that? That's Brian's philosophy. The problem is if you have too much paint, you end up with cracking like what happened to me last week. Yeah, well, first. that's when you leave too much on it, too. I love the yellow at the base there, you know, at the end, how it wispies in with the green like that. It's pretty. Brian, you probably don't get cracking because you um, dry your paintings downstairs, so it's a little more damp. But we have our vent working out, running out here all the time now, so ours have a tendency to crack because it's like 90 degrees here already. It's pretty though. You're not just saying that? No, it looks good on camera. Can I see it? Oh, yeah. Uh oh, Nate became a lobster today. That means he was in the sunshine too long. You're going to have to get Nate some sunscreen. Careful. I am. I don't want you to get wonky. I like the white negative space. Um, it doesn't really fix it, Susan, but you don't um see it because it fills it in. So it's nice and smooth. Um I, I do it all the time with the blooms because the bloom um, cell activator likes to sink. So when you um, put the resin on, it's all nice and smooth. Yeah, definitely I would embellish this one. I'm really wishing he wouldn't tilt all that off because it was really pretty. But it's his painting, so... <laughs> Just wait till you see what I do. Yep, Nate, looks like a salad. <laughs> he looks like a salad. I 
It's nice that you're opening it up, though, but I I did like it with the white, but that's okay. It's your painting. Uh, I don't think he has. You haven't torched it yet, have you? I have not. Okay. Catherine wants to know if you have a plan to wreck it with something. He said he had a plan. I don't know what his plan is. Like a mallet? <laughs> <laughs> Nate says you can paint tomato slices on that. Nate's being mean. Well, you started it off. I don't want to take away from the military green. James loves green. Thank you, Joanne. We appreciate you. A little slip slide down here. This, but that white has got to go. Thank you, Shirley. We appreciate you. Says, are you sure you had a plan? <laughs> it's prettier here than what you're seeing on the camera. The colors are really bright, but let's see how it dries. But there's a how, but. We're gonna see how it dries because those greens should darken up when they dry. You have one white corner. One white corner. She's like, hmm. Shirley says, don't wreck it. It's really not that bad now that I'm looking at it. It will grow on you. Thank you, Nate. I appreciate you. I assure you, it's going to grow on you. You sure? I'm pretty sure. I like the way that little bit of green and yellow went into the white. Are you here? Yeah. So what you're saying is you like this one inch square here. <laughs> no, I like the I like that middle area where the where you first put the sand in and it kind of broke everything up. So the next challenge. Deborah says if she had green hair, she would have she would love to have the back look like that. Let's see what you can do with those colors. So what are you, you um, challenging me? I'm challenging you. I, I You conceded round one, right? From last week? Yeah. So who wants to see another challenge? Don't forget to wipe your edges. Susan said it looks better on her TV than on the iPad. Well, Susan, you should see it in real life. <laughs> kind of like it. But that's just me. So you want me to use the same colors? What do you want me to do? I'd like a dirty pour? You can do whatever you want. I just want to see what you can make with those colors. Hmm. So there. All right. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. 
Yeah, leave the pad there and leave the, don't put the tops on. You don't want, well, I was going to put a new pad down, but, okay. Why waste another pad if it's the same color? Missed. Well, I don't want to give you a handicap or anything. Do I have to use the same size canvas, too? I should. Thank you, Judy. There will be a set that way. Oh, you're going to use the same canvas. Same size. Right, she's using a level one. <laughs> it's not going to kill me to use a level one. Wasteful man. Who's wasteful? And then I have to have you go upstairs and bring my bin of summer shoes down because I only have one pair of sandals down here and they hurt my feet. Now she's pouting. Do you need more tea? No. It's unlike Donkey Kong. All right. I'm going to do a dirty pour, though, because I don't want to pour through a strainer. Right. Who are you calling a noob? Can I add a color or no? Nope. Dang. He's so pushy. Can't use white either, right? Oh, I can use white. You can use white. Because you used white. You can use white to slide your paint around. No, I can use white because you used white. <laughs> See, she's making, she's making up the rules. I'm not making up any rules. You just said I had to use the same colors. And my thumb is really hurting today. I'm going to have to get a shot of cortisone. See, that was the problem, Maria. Your place was so nice and so relaxing. We couldn't challenge each other. Excuse you. <laughs> it's your favorite sound. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. There you go. One down. Oh, yippee. Cleaned. I know, I'm trying to use them Ms. up. Christina. Michelle's got to said that Nate's got to embellish mine with lemons and limes. I can't reach up there, so that's where I put it. Because oh, okay. I'm short. Well, shorter than you. We're not going to kill this cad yellow green, though. Oh, see, that goes up there, too, doesn't it? Yep. It's all the farther I can reach. See, I'm handicapped tonight. Why are you handicapped? Because I got a bum ankle. There's just a smidge left in that one. I actually could use that up for you. Nate wants to know, is it Kralin or Trallin or Altina? There you go. Oh, geez, You're welcome. <laughs> no, no white sea dust. There we go. I used it up. Somebody else has a bottle of Jose, too. We have two. Two. Yeah, you bought me one for my birthday, and I had one from New Year's Eve. And neither one have been opened. Yeah, I opened oh, one on New that, Year's that's Eve. That's right, you had that one. Okay. Ooh, 
didn't like that green. You know, I just did a green painting for a video for next week. I think it's next Tuesday, actually. So. Oh. It's so hard, Ellen. <laughs> what? It's a lot of bright green in there. It hurts my eyes. I thought you said the yellow was going to take over. No, I did it different. I added more green because I didn't want the yellow to take over. I didn't get enough terra vert in there, though. All right, let's tilt her. Nope, this is not annoying green. Close. Sue, <laughs> Sue Lindina wants to know why I didn't get cells. You got some. I got some cells. Actually, quite a bit in the center. Ugh. Those colors. <laughs> You're making me hate paint pouring right now. <laughs> oh, please. Don't be afraid of color. I'm not scared. Oh, no. Brian, who are you laughing at? Probably me. Because I said, oof. <laughs> Kathy Carr likes it. Shelly says, looks really good, Christina. Sue Jansen says she's surprised the yellow didn't eat the green. Yeah. It's coming. The military is here. Oh, Joyce, you traitor. She says, it's okay, Christina, it's better than the yellow. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> The test comes when they're dry, guys. Absolutely. I think I got them all. Whoops, there's one. See, mine took longer. That's because you're slow. It's nothing to do with taking longer. It's just because you're slow. Mine had to... Get the paint velocity up to speed. You mean viscosity? No, velocity. <laughs> to get down that canvas. Okay. A field of daffodils. All right. Yeah, There's a lot of yellow in here, though. I see it more now. Brian's saying that's brute or brutal. Brian loves green. All right, so there's my piece. Oh, I has to pull a few tiles. What? Tiles? Yeah. We don't have any tiles in this color. I wonder why. Do you hear that screaming while I was putting it up there? No, no, no. You get the tiles over there. Yeah, I brought them over here. So if you're new to our channel, we like to pick up leftover paint and put it on tiles to make coasters. We use an offset spatula to do that. Or you can dip into your runoff. Um... Like to load up my palette knife and just drag it 
paint across. These are just ceramic tiles you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's or any tile store. That one came out pretty cool. For the green lovers. Help me. Carrie says the dark green is nice. It needed more. Yeah, it needed a little more contrast. Can you cut me? From cut? Yeah. Like that? Um, yeah. You have been cupped. I have been cupped. Now, where's your apron? I have no clue. It's around here somewhere. And Shelly and Maria know what my studio looks like because I shared a little video. <laughs> and I still haven't got it done. She's still waiting for you to come over, Shell. No, I'm not. I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> Honestly, our house looks like a disaster zone right now. Yep. Not just the garage. It's, it's a war zone. New furniture and bedding everywhere and comforters and pillows and you know because we didn't have a king before that so we had to buy all that stuff she's on her way she said well you better stay home because that that present's coming to you shortly what present what are you talking about am i supposed to send her something no no i told her i was getting one to go with mine You don't have a clue, do you? I don't even know what you're talking about. You guys have all this little secret society that you talk about stuff and I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> it, it's a post out in public. I mean, Shelly's like, I don't know you. Stan's about three foot tall. Four legs. Oh. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ryan's like, you're about a ho Jose. That's not three foot tall. <laughs> Thank God. Do you notice how I added that dark green onto that spatula? So I could get some in there. You said you did that on purpose? Yeah, I did that on purpose. Because otherwise it would have been just too green, green, yellowy green. All right, guys, that's the last Maria one. Maria says, pull that top one. That one? I think it would be too, uh, yeah, see? It'd come out like muddy green. I need to fill this. All right. Maria's like, yep. She pulled it. It's it's too yucky. It's, it's yucky. It's yucky. Speaking of yucky, where's Vicky? I don't know. She said she was going to come tonight, but she probably fell asleep. She's tired, girl. Well, that was a fine mess you made. You want me to do a dip? Give me your head. <laughs> well, she said you pulled the one she was aiming for. So Gloria's got a question. Do you resin all your tiles? Yes, I do. Because I only sell them as coasters. Like, I don't sell them as decorative coasters. I sell them as functional art. And I need to do that too. I need to get pictures tomorrow and get some coasters in my Etsy shop. 
And I have some resin paintings that need to go in there too. Because I don't know when we're doing our next auction. Shelly got it. That was a post I did. Oh. Something that you want and I'm not buying for you? Something I want. You won't let me have. Oh, the goat? No. Oh. You get a goat. I'd like a goat. I wouldn't have to worry about you mowing the grass. <laughs> slam. Slam. That's not slam. I was just thinking I'd do that. Slam. Slam you. Um, Susan, I haven't tried it yet, but I think if they're resin, you could probably grout them and do a backsplash. You'd have to, you definitely have to seal them with something because you'd have to be able to wash them. Oh, Moo, the little cow. Yes. The little zebu. <laughs> no goats. Bad idea. <laughs> Who said that? Linda. See, occasionally I do get something that. Catherine, I do have your coasters. They're sitting right here on my shipping table. I was going to get back to you about that, but. See, green can look good on canvas. Yeah, that was one of your pretty paintings. I have got to uh, finish that. Get a lamb. Speaking of lamb, we were at the grocery store. Yesterday, wasn't it? We saw the little bitty lamb chops. They looked like little T-bone steaks. I thought they were the cutest little things. Oh, my God. <laughs> you eat those. You don't. They were so cute. You know where they come from, don't you? Lambs. Come on, boo. Grab a canvas. Let's I go. Am. I have all your stuff prepped right I there. No, you don't. Where? Oh, I'm getting that look again. I'm not giving you a look. I'm just pointing. Yeah, it's it's all over there. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't look at prices on meat unless I'm buying it. I do all the time. Three ninety nine ribeyes, all the time. There's never three ninety nine ribeyes. That's not true. What the prime ribs we bought down in South Carolina? Yeah, they were worth three ninety nine. No, they, they were. They weren't that great. Yeah. So make sure you guys stick around because I have a little surprise tonight. Mm -hmm. As soon as Alan's done. Which will be about 45, I mean, 30 minutes. <laughs> really? I know, right? Da, 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 da. <laughs> He's bound and determined to use that Payne's Grave um, base coat tonight. He's bound and determined to. Make me do something amazing. Um, we shop at most, well, there's two. We do Food Lion and we do Harris Teeter. That is, yes, Brian, a 14 by 14. Ooh, he's cuddling the middle. Let's see what he does. Good night, Lisa. Out of paint. Ta-da! You done? <laughs> Paint's gray will look me, good with almost anything. Let me fill that torch. Yeah, she's pretty empty. It's brilliant. It's just 
brilliant. It's a gorgeous color. Brilliant. <laughs> it's an eclipse. <laughs> there you go. The bowling ball by Alan. <laughs> Wait, there's no holes. <laughs> Dark side of the moon. Sean says, you're really getting good. I better look out. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I'm already getting that look, and I only chose one color. No, I just, I'm just waiting to see what you're going to do with all that. Oh, you're gonna see. Ooh. You're gonna see. That might be an interesting color on that Payne's Gray, actually. You're going to see. I'm going to see. You're going to see. I'm going to see. Just remember, don't go too much darker because that's going to dry dark. You to see. I, you could put a gold in there too. We have it. Is there a champagne over there? I don't know if we use it all. There's a gold no, bronze. Too dark. There's a lighter gold to your left and then on the bottom this shelf. This one? Nope. Not the decor. But right there. This one? Yeah. That's gold? Cool. Yeah, it's um, Crafts Miracle, I think. That needs a good shake. It's almost pretty close to that Lucas Brown Ochre. Yeah, but it's metallic. You don't need a lot. Oh, Shirley, we're like this all the time. Even when we're fighting, we do this. We don't even fight. It's like... Ask Maria. Ask Maria. Yeah, she'll tell you. We don't fight. We just bicker. No, we don't even bicker. We make fun of, of each other. We make fun of each other and everything around us at the same time. This is what happens when you operate on about three hours sleep, too. Yeah, you're tired, too. Okay. Got them all? I got them all. Lucas, brown ochre. Soho, kid orange. <laughs> there says we're fighting about fighting. <laughs> you said which one is this? That's Craft Smart Gold. Craft Craft Smart Gold. Yeah, it's Craft Pink. Liquitex CAD Red Light Hue. Okay, I have a little red. This one's probably a little too dark, but I'm I still think I need a little contrast. Chestnut bronze. Last. Soho Cad Yellow Medium. Now everybody's wondering, what is he going to do? Yes, yeah, so what are you going to do? Do I need to cut a cup or do I need to do something? No, you need, you need to do it now. You just sit there and watch. <laughs> You're hilarious. Brian says, where's the green? <laughs> right over there. It's a variation. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, you're going to say. It's a variation. Of a standard technique. So we're not the only ones tired. Sun is tired, too. Bossy, bossy. <laughs> I'm not really that bossy. Yeah. We've been together, what, 22 years? Yeah, 22 years. He's trained well. <laughs> Just kidding. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm 
Sorry about that, Linda. That'd be hard. Anybody got any ideas yet? No. Are you going to float a cup? cup? You don't even know what you're doing yet. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why'd you give me Just that look? What was that look for? What color was that right there? That? Yeah. Soho Kid Orange. Pretty much, Bry. Reverse Boilermaker. Oh, reverse Boilermaker. The words with shot glass. It's going to be a flip and drag through a puddle. So it's like a Boilermaker. Because you didn't spread the paint out yet. Sort of, maybe, kind of, a little. <laughs> You know, you tilt that, you're going to lose all that money because you're not standing in the middle. Good night, Shauna. Definitely see the orange and the gold and the brown ochre. I think you might have lost your chestnut browns. I probably already sank. Oh yeah, we've got a quarterly giveaway coming up next month, don't we? Thanks for reminding me, Mar there, Maria. <laughs> Can't even say Maria's name right. I'm tired. Good morning, Ariel. Where's Ariel? From Alaska. I'm sorry, from Australia. <laughs> I need to go to bed. You can't. You got another painting to do yet. I know. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool too, Catherine. I want to see how he stretches that out. Very carefully. Was it last night I stayed up and watched the Seattle protest? It was last night, wasn't it? Yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't go to bed till about 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, but the time I was getting up to go to work, I was going to be like, shut that alarm off. Brian's like, slam it. Slam it. You mean drop it? Drop the mic? Watch what I can do. Thanks, Carrie. 
Susan's saying, gentle, gentle. <laughs> Understood. Yeah, Marie, I watched it until um, they got to the uh, dumpster fire, and then I said, okay, that's enough. You're so meticulous with your little edgies. I have to be. Your prongs are going to be gone. <laughs> Brian said you're killing him. Why? Why, Brian? He wanted me to keep that orange on there. Yeah, I don't watch the news um, on that stuff, Joyce. I watch the live videos on Facebook. People that are actually there. Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate you. Okay. This is the corner I gotta be careful of. And I still haven't cut my hair, Carrie. <laughs> and I haven't either. just drawn into those shell. It's just me. It sucks me right in. You think we have to make another trip to Lafayette? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad we can entertain with our little bicker, banter, whatever you guys want to call it. We don't call it fighting because we don't fight, so. <laughs> nah, like we used to. What, we used to fight? We used to fight. I don't remember. Me don't remember. I don't. I like how that's opening up with the cells and the edgies. Good night, Angela. Did I miss her leaving? Because I didn't see it. Must be Beth is lagging. Oh, there it is. I was way behind. Yeah, we just. We don't go to bed mad at each other, that's for sure. I don't really think we fight, to tell you the truth. Yeah, we bicker. Yes, Maria, I did cut your hair while I was there. I should have handed you the scissors and said, here, cut mine off. <laughs> I can do that. What? Cut it off. I know. I prefer that a professional did it. But. Mary, Mary says, because I don't go to bed. <laughs> That's why we don't. 
<laughs> That's right. Mar Mary's right. <laughs> I go to bed when he gets up. That's good, Kim, because they really need it. That place looks like Syria. It's bad. I always respect my boys in blue, that's for sure. And my military. So now the question is. <laughs> I don't know, Maria. I don't think you would have done a bad job. All right, so are you gonna tilt anymore? Because I'd like you to check how deep your middle is. You would like to check the middle. Oh, you're good. Of course I'm good. Mm. Now, let's see if there's anything underneath. We're going down. Torch up, yeah, that was a good color combo for sure. With the frown ochre and the orange and gold and bronze. I don't it all myself. I haven't gotten as tricky as Miss Christina with her mirror. He is Marilyn. He really is. What? Getting better and better. Well, thank you. I try. I like it. I want to see how much is that gold metallic when it dries, you know, and the bronze. Close up as soon as I clean this up. That's a 14. You're going to have to go on the second shelf. Bronco colors. I see the gold in there when you do that. Good job, babe. It's Payne's gray, Mary Ellen, but you know, it's still dark enough that you could say it was almost black. Okay, Bri, are you ready? For what? Would you like another pad down for your surprise? Yes. Yes. Please. She didn't tell me what it is, so I have no idea. Yes, I'm you the, do. I'm in the dark just like everybody else here. Are you sure you don't know? You know. You know. I don't know. So, Brian sent me a box. I'm going to just dump it out because it's probably the best way to do it, right, Brian? 
So Brian sent one of his pouring cups. You can put That's your different familiar. colors in. I love how he puts his name on there, Spontaneous Creations. And then he sent this cool one, which when you pour, that'll all go through those. He sent a Floetrol jug strainer. Toys. He sent, I love that. He sent this little doohickey where the paint goes in, comes out these little side things. And then he's got some little ones here. This is a little snowflakey thing. This one looks fun. And then this one has the little holes. Ninja. And then he sent this one. Look at that. Spontaneous creations. Good job, Bri. So, yeah. this is a giveaway. From every one of those? Every one of those from Brian. Can I get in on it? Nope. You want your toys, you got to buy them Brian, from Brian. Can I even clean some out of my toy box? You got lots of them in your toy box. So... I need to have Alan pick a number because we're going to do bingo. <laughs> da, 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 bingo. So you're going to get all of these guys. Look at that. All of them in one? All of them in one. And I'm going to ship them out from here for Brian so that we don't have to do the back and forth thing. So Alan's picking a number. Between one and five hundred. One and fifty. Oh. So don't start yet. Not yet. So anybody lagging? I think we should let everybody refresh, guys. You want to refresh in case anybody's lagging? Let's do two minute refresh. So we'll start at one nineteen fifty one. That gives me time to pick out a canvas for my next painting. Not yet, Gloria. Mm -hmm. We haven't said go yet. We're just letting everybody refresh. How much of that paint's great? Um, There's quite a bit up there, yeah. I'm use it that way. Imagine the fun you could have with these things. Oh, I know. Well, we've used this one, right? We have this one, yes, and we've we got one. we've got a couple of these. I think we have this one, and I use this all the time. Okay, so we're down to seventy-two. We started with eighty-four when we told everybody to refresh. Now we're down to seventy. Yeah, they're out go see they were lagging, so we have to give them time to get back in here. It's all wet. Huh? Sweating? No, my drink might have dripped on it. Oh. Down to 69. Brian, you can't guess on this. <laughs> See, they were really lagging because they're all going out now. So, um, Brian, you can post your... Well, actually, you can get a hold of Brian through um, Facebook. Look for Spontaneous Creations by Brian. Whoops. Spontaneous Creations. He puts it on all his stuff. Because Brian has a lot of spare time on his hands. He's got a lot of these printed. Because that's what he's been working on. Yes, make sure you're on live chat, too. They're coming back now. There you go. Brian posted the link. Make sure you do that every few minutes, Brian, so they'll have your info. And Donna's back. And Carrie, Carrie, did you find that toner? 
Not yet. Oh, I found it, Carrie. I just haven't gotten it yet. I haven't ordered it yet. Because I don't know if I trust Alan to cut my hair yet. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to get all of these. There's eight things here. This is a awesome giveaway, Brian. Thank you so much for sharing it with the people on our channel since you're friends with most of them now. All right, guys, are you ready? I hope everybody is not lagging and everybody is up with us. Are you, I don't know the number. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I had to look at the number because I can't. That was a blind moment. All right, guys. Are you ready? Go. Hi, Pam. Bingo. One to 50. Guess the number between one and 50. Whoops. There it is. There it is. Susan. Susan Lundino. Susan Lundino. Yay, Susan. She liked Congratulations. It. That was too quick. I, oh, now, now they're coming in with the same. <laughs> <laughs> so Susan is our winner. You guys can stop. Type and stop. She was quick. She got it first try. So I have to box it up and I got to mail that out to her. And this was the number, number 43. She was the first one to guess it. There we go. So. Good job. Thank you again, Brian. That was awesome, Brian. Thanks. It's fun to give away stuff for other people, too. But if you still want to get any of those little gadget guys, make sure you reach out to Brian. They're pretty cheap. They're fun. All right. Terry said she was still refreshing. That's because she was probably lagging. And we waited like almost four minutes. So Brian will be posting the link. A couple yep. more times tonight. Yeah, I told him to make sure he keeps posting that. Shelly just posted it too. What you gonna do? I think I'm gonna do a bunch of little flip cups and intermingle. I'll use plastic cups. They're washable. All right. I think I want to go with one of my favorite combos, except I don't have. All right. So you guys all know I like Premier Purple Red. And I'm going to use the Grumbacher. Oh, there's not enough in there. I'll use that up. Yay, another bottle. Oh, Prussian yeah, blue. <laughs> and I'll add the galaxy blue because that's pretty close. That's pretty close. And we'll use Christina's Laguna. That's one of your favorites. Mm -hmm. And Morning Pansy Shimmer. This is one of my favorite color combos. Because when you mix these together, these colors, you can get different colors to go to. You mean like <laughs> blue and yellow? What do you get with blue and yellow, Alan? Mud. No. <laughs> He's so funny. All right, let's get these filled up. Line them up so I can Purple. Grab. Blue and yellow, Alan. Where's my color wheel? What do you get when you mix red and blue? Mud. <laughs> Are you just 
pulling my leg? Are you just acting like that you really know, right? You don't know? All right, Morning Pansy is going to be first. Then I'm okay. going gonna, gonna to go with the Prussian blue next. So Carrie has a question. Yes, ma'am. The 12 by 12 wall you're doing, is it going to be gallery wrapped? I have all different kinds. I have wood. I have gallery. I have, um, what do you call it? Level ones. Level twos. I have one from Raphael that's Framed in wood. So. Yeah, Nate's three dimensional. Nate's got a lot of paintings on our art wall already. He actually needs his own wall. <laughs> and I'm not buying a bigger house. Sorry, Nate. Okay. I'm going with the purple red. Kira's going to send you one, she said. Go back to white. Yeah, so you guys, you should see Carrie's art room. <laughs> oh my God. She's got lots of room to create, and she's got paintings everywhere, and they're absolutely gorgeous. I don't know when she finds time to do hair. Well, she was off for a while, but I don't think she painted while she was off. Maybe. I don't know for sure. But. I was impressed. Lisa Wyatt says we need our own our own wall in her art room too. <laughs> She's got a lot of art stuff. I know it's like I was trying to decide if I wanted to do an auction, but what I think I'm going to do is just mark everything super cheap and put it in my Etsy shop so you don't have to bicker over them. I said bicker. <laughs> and you can just buy them. You don't bicker. All right, so I have the white on the bottom so we don't have the colors. Brian stuck. says he's got nine of your paintings now. Wow. Do you really, Brian? I don't remember him having nine. So these all have silicone, so we're going to get cells. Carrie said she was resining while she was off. Oh, that's what, yeah, we saw the resin. She doesn't have time to finish all the paintings that were there when we were there. Because the season's blowing up. Yeah, she's busy right now. Summertime, I know. All right, so I'm going to let a little color out. Well, and then Lisa, we're going to intermingle. Thanks for stopping in, Lisa. I'm going to move that down. So I want to grab it with this cup. I'm going to let a little color out. Come over and grab some of that. Stop here. Hello, Art Flow by Mo. So we got our green, which was blue and yellow. <laughs> I knew that. Okay. I knew you were just joking. How pretty that cup is. How silly. Okay, two left. Oh, this one didn't have any paint left in it. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah. Like full by mo. <laughs> okay. Let's draw.
starch and stretch. While that's setting for a minute, second. Oh, where are you going? She's looking for something. I'm looking for yesterday's, or sorry, Saturday's video. So this was the oil maker. Totally lost my my turtle. <laughs> but dried pretty cool. I got a lot of gold in there. The interference, I should say. So that one will probably get resined to pop that interference back out. Terry says, book title from her college days in art class. Yellow and blue don't make green. What kind of name of a book is that? Interference. Do you want your apron, Peter? No, I'm fine. Oh, this is a painting shirt anyway. It's They're pretty... all painting shirts. No, uh, not all the new ones, not all the new tank tops I bought. Please don't let me wear them out here. <laughs> I have like 50 tank tops now. This is going to be very colorful. Very colorful. Well, I really like that too. I don't want to lose that, but I'm going to. Let me turn it around with the other side. Shirley wants to know why so many tank tops. Um, because I buy them and then I get paint on them and then I can't wear them anywhere else. So I buy more and forget that I have those on and come out here and paint and then I get paint on those. <laughs> and she forgets which one she has paint on and which one she doesn't. So then she goes and buys some more. <laughs> They're all pretty much black, aren't they? Most of my tank tops are black. My UPS driver probably thinks I don't change my clothes because I wear black leggings and a black tank top all the time. So he probably thinks, man, she doesn't even shower. Her hair is always in a ponytail. <laughs> Maria says it's so you don't have to do laundry. <laughs> I did laundry today. It was funny yesterday. I was sorting clothes because Alan, he's been working again. You know, he's not on vacation now. So we got all the clothes sorted and he says, where's yours? I said, this pile right here. <laughs> he had six other piles. I said, I'll mind fit in one load. <laughs> it was funny. Tank tops and leggings don't take up much room in the washer. Look well, at that sells. Some are juicy and some are color in a color. Carrie said those cells pop right out. Mm -hmm. Carrie says you would laugh if you saw her painting get up. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people that paint naked, but I just can't do it. I got too many deliveries coming. <laughs> I wouldn't do it anyways. I have kids here. Well, young men. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're not here. Some cool colors in there. But that's when you intermingle them like that, it keeps you from getting that line around each one and they look separated. So just moving them together. You wipe it off and I'll bring it up and show you. 
always want to wipe those edges because it'll pull your color off the canvas. <laughs> Carrie says it would traumatize Lyric if he walked in on her painting naked. <laughs> He's a cutie. I got some green in there. Catherine wants to know what size is it? This is a 10 by 20. I'm All hoping right. that white will sink a little bit more. Look like you got a lot of paint on there. Uh-uh. Missy. Uh-uh. Better check your paint. Look. It's not moving when I do that. I don't have too much paint. Well, I can do that with mine. No, you can't. Give me it. I'll show you. You want to do it right over the top of yours? Look at that red help that popped up all of a sudden. This one? No, oh, right? Oh, God. Here we go. There. Also, this the stream of red right through there. That's that purple red. It is. I like it. I like color, color, color. Oh. You got time for one more there, dear. I want to pull this one for a tile right here. You got a tile over there that's got a little paint on it. No, it's tape. Can you pick it off? Thank you. All right, I want this right here. So it's got white in it. The color. Mom said nakedness is not so good. You remember that Seinfeld episode? I don't remember. I'm not a big fan of Seinfeld. I've watched it, but I'm not like, I don't know the episodes. Well, if it had something to do with Walking Dead, I would know it. <laughs> I like these little singles like this, these colorful ones, to put in with a gift. It's got the purple and the blue in it. I don't have room for another painting, by the way. Sure you do. No, I don't. I don't have any room in the rack. I don't have 12, any right room there. on the racks over there. Now you just... I don't have any room. Carrie was in the pool. Now we're going to have to go to the lab. Carrie, back. you got your pool done already? We were just there two weeks ago. She says, yes, I'm going to pinch her so hard. <laughs> so anybody have questions about pouring? No. Oh, she said that was the sound. Oh, okay. Episode. Okay. <laughs> that was quick. Put together. Um, Gloria, I use Stone Coat Art Coat. But I also have been using some KNS resin just to, I was doing some tests and the countertop version of the KS is just as good as the stone coat. Um, I did a thumbnail test. One of my viewers asked me to try it and give my opinion on it. And um, she sent me a small trial size and it works great. So if you can if you can't get the stone coat, you can always get the KS. The stone coat I have in my Amazon shop now. So it's easier to order instead of going to the website. So Carrie, did you help them paint out where they're gonna dig? So Brian's posting um, his Facebook information if you guys want to get those little gadgets to pour with. Here's another empty. Oh, yay. I got some new pigments from uh, Color Art. 
So now I can show you these real quick. This is Bolivian blue. Love this color, guys. Look at that. It is gorgeous. So I'm going to be doing some more blooms. I got hot cinnamon. Absolutely deep, gorgeous red. I got a Payne's Gray. Never had Payne's Gray before. So you want to make sure when you uh, mix these like the day before, you stir them really well because all that mica settles in the bottom. So you want to bring it back up through the paint. But that Payne's Gray is gorgeous. Good night, Sue Johnson. Good night, Catherine. Good night, you guys. And then this one is Carmen, which is a little bit lighter red. It's more of a pinky red, but it's still red. So, yeah, these are going to be pretty. So I thought I'd do some red, white, and blue coasters. And then I got the uh, Fire nutmeg. See how it's just kind of uh right now? I stir that mica back into it. Look at that. I saw Kristen Lustig use this one with the turquoise. It was beautiful, so I ordered it. Uh, Cheryl wants to know where do you get your little spoons at the inside? They of come. Cups? They come with the um, color art pigments. And what are they called? They're from Color Art Primary Pigments. Um. I don't have a link for that, do I, Maria? I'm not um, an affiliate for her, but I buy her products. So, and, do, you know, so do you mix them with Floetrol? No, these are mixed with um, high gloss paint base, house paint base for the blooms. And I also mix in like I do uh, one cup of the house paint base, the untinted house paint base, and a quarter cup of polycrylic. This um, firefly is really pretty. It's an iridescent. It shines different colors. Like you'll get a purple and a pink and a gold. I had to get more of that because I use that up so fast. And then, of course, the golden diamond, which is my go-to. Mm -hmm. See how it all sunk? Brian says, it's funny to see you get excited about reds and pinks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I didn't have any reds to do um, blooms with, so I thought I'll get a couple and try them. I need Kim to get a hold of Leslie because I still want some more Asiarite. Kim Lordy wants to know, what do you mix mica into? Mica you can mix into Floetrol. But if I were you, I would mix it into glue first and then add Floetrol because it's got to have something to hang on to. I don't think, I still think it would sink a little bit in the Floetrol. You're going to have to keep stirring it, though, before you use it. I'm not a fan of mica in Floetrol. I like the um, pigments better because they dissolve. But you can't use those pigments in resin. Where mica powders, you can use them in resin. A lot of people buy mica so they can use it, dual use it. So yeah, we do um, we do that paint, untinted paint. You just buy it from Home Depot or Lowe's. It has to be a high gloss, high gloss, ultra deep base. I have a video number five hundred that shows you how to mix all this. If you guys want to do blooms, I did get it. So when I was there Saturday, I bought this one. This is a high gloss deep base. She um, swatched it for me. It dries clear. So I'm going to be trying this one um, this week, hopefully if I have time. So we'll see if this one works because the Sherwin-Williams has been discontinued at Lowe's. And we already know the red can 
What one was that from Lowe's? It was Sherwin Williams. Sherwin. Yeah, it's in the red can. It's just like deep base C. We know that doesn't work, right, Maria? <laughs> right, Monica. And Monica. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't work for us. We spent a whole night mixing all those pigments and they didn't work. We were so upset. So Shelly does two parts of the high gloss and one part of the Minwax. I do three to one. Linda said she got the last two on her loads. Oh yeah, it's like as soon as you see them, buy them. We've got four. <laughs> We were in Tennessee. We were hitting all the lows on the way home, and we got lucky. The second lows we stopped at, Alan bought four. And he said, they do have more. And I'm like, no, four is good. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you make sure it's the ultra deep base. Tintable, ultra deep base, high gloss. That's very important that it has to be high gloss. Because when you put the flow trial on top of it with the pigment, that high gloss is what slides that flow trawl and gives you those cells. So, just pulled my hair. Why are you pulling your hair? It got stuck. I had a knot. So, any more questions, guys, before we head out? I've got to try so, to get to bed early tonight. Linda Brown says, Why do they not make 833210 in gallons? Because it's 209. It's the same one. It's just 209. Let me see. This is the uh, this is the court 210. 833 210 is the court. 209 is the gallon. This is all they have left over. So if you're seeing this and that's all they have and they don't have a gallon, get this because they're not going to have it anymore. And Alan's bringing the gallon over. And that's the gallon. Now, when you open these, they're missing like that much. It's because they would have added that much tint to it to tint it. Okay. So, and then we just use polycrylic. You don't have to get the Josanya varnish. I don't see any difference, actually. And then for your cell activator, I use the Aussie Flow Troll that I get through eBay. If anybody wants the link to that, just shoot me an email or um, find me on Facebook. I probably could post it in the group. So Andrew wants to know, what does the high gloss do? You want the high gloss for the pigment because when you put the... Let me grab it. So when you put the Aussie flow trial over it, the color has a tendency to, how do I want to say it, repel the flow trial because the polymer is different in here than what's in the paint because this is a latex high gloss. So it does have polymer in it, but it has a high gloss, uh, I don't know, how do I want to say that? Anyways, it's going to resist this. So if you're mixing this with a carbon black from Golden or the Amsterdam titanium white, these are the two most opaque colors you can get. It will resist on this. So what will happen when you blow your cell activator out across that color, it's like, ugh, I don't want to stick to that color. Ugh. So it opens up and that's where you get all your little bloom cells from. Susan, if, do you have Susan's email or her shipping address? I probably do. Yeah, if you've donated through PayPal, so I do have it. Okay, sorry. Yep. So if you're not getting cells and you're using the American Floetrol, you can add. Somebody was asking about the moon wax. <clears throat> you can add. Okay, let's say you use the American Floetrol, which is this one. But you're still going to use the Amsterdam white and the golden carbon black. So you mix those with, with our flow trial. Same thing, three to one. 
or two to one, whichever depends which consistency you're working with. And you can add about three or four drops of this. Now this stinks really bad, but this one is not water-based. So a couple of drops of that, you may get the same effect as you get with the Aussie Flow Trial. So I have not tried M1 yet. Someone wanted me to try M1. I'll probably pick up a little bit of that and see how that works, but I really don't think it's going to because this, this Flow Trial is made by the same company. It's just the products that they put in it in Australia, for Australia, are different than the products they put in for the U.S. So that's that's the only difference. It's a one polymer, one stinking little polymer that is different than this one here. So I wish America could do the same thing. <laughs> this is much watery, much more watery than ours from America. So I wouldn't want to be using this for paint pouring, but for blooming, it's fantastic. So there's all the products, guys. Mary Ellen said the M1 is very watery. Yeah. Well, the float, this is too. It's not thick like ours. So it's, um, I don't know. I think when you start adding the stain too, that's thinning it down. And maybe add a little tiny bit of glue if you have to, but not a lot. Because you'll still want that binder to bind with the black or the white. So it's a lot of product. If you watch video 500, I kind of explain it all. I don't go into the American recipe for the CA, which I really need to do. Um, because I would love to show you how buying just these from me is all you need to use. To do blooms so you wouldn't have to buy all of this just your CA stuff so but we'll get into that later down the road um, I'm still doing affiliations for Shelly to get classes for her and as soon as um, that slows down then I'll start showing you more of an American version of blooms there's a lot of girls out there doing it Tammy Anderson and Kristen Lustig. So if you guys want to check them out for the American recipe, Tammy's done it with just paint and water. So if you're using good products, you should be able to get a bloom. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate that. And um, I guess we'll see you guys next Monday night. If you have any questions, reach out to me, Christina Welcher at yahoo.com or through Facebook, and we'll go from there. Have a good evening. Bye now.